Hey everybody out there, how you doing? Uh, my name is Ray Love, Reverend Raymond Love, DJ Ray Love, uh, AKA the Lord's DJ, all of that good stuff. And um, I, I'm shooting this video this morning and I'm bringing you this word this morning because it came to me during prayer. And I, um, I started out as a Facebook status to write something about it and it just continued to draw out in my mind and as God continued to lead me, and writing it, it became too long to be a status. And uh, I didn't want to write a long note and then tag everybody and have you read something that was real long. So I just thought I'd shoot a real quick video and kind of uh, explain to you and express to you what God gave me this morning while I was in prayer uh, for the mindset of our young people and the things that are going on in our communities today. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any takes or anything. If I fumble a word or two, I'm just going to go ahead and keep on moving. And I just want to uh, get this message out to you real quick. And I hope that some of you guys will join me in this cause that I'm going to take up um, as we want to change and better our communities and the world around us. Uh, I'm just going to read what I wrote. Amen. It became very clear to me today while praying for the mindset of our children and young adults that we must rebuke all secular hip-hop music. Jesus said in Matthew 12, 30, If you're not with me, then you're against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. Our youth and young adults are being heavily influenced by the demonic music that they are listening to on the radio and in music videos. We are all influenced by the music of our generations, for good or bad. We can no longer stand by and allow the demonic music and influence to saturate, saturate our televisions and radios. We must speak out against it and take a stand. The Bible says in Ephesians 5.11, Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but expose it. I am a gospel rap artist and a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I do not listen to secular hip-hop music, but the influence it has is killing our communities. We can no longer just do our own thing and expect things to work out. We must speak out against secular hip-hop. Go into the enemy's camp and take back what the devil has stolen. <clears throat> Go into the enemy's camp. Many will say it's only music. It's not real and it doesn't affect people in that way. I beg to differ. Our kids and youth wear clothes, shoes, hats, hairstyles, and all these things that they see in music videos. They speak the same language, the slang, that is spoken in the music videos, and you'll also hear them all the time reciting the lyrics as if they're their own lyrics that they hear in these songs. Why do you think women in certain videos wear bikinis and men are fully clothed? What they are doing is they are playing to the mindset that women should use their sexuality to draw attention and men should use their worldly goods to draw attention. We talk about our young men sagging their pants, but we don't go to the source or the problem of these kids sagging, which is in the music videos and things that are around them. I know there are more of you who feel the same way that I do about this, and you understand what I'm saying, and you understand what I'm doing. Please join me in speaking out against secular hip-hop music so we can begin to change our communities and the mindsets of our young people and those that are around us. And, you know, I've, I've just had the opportunity to be uh, uh, deep in the secular game and as far as music was concerned. I was a DJ in clubs for many years. I promoted secular music. I promoted uh, for Irish the Records through a, a, a company and I also promoted for Relativity Records, Priority Records. Uh, I promoted Ice Cube, Biggie, uh, Craig Mack, um, all of these big time artists that came out uh, in the late 90s and, uh, and, and early 2000s, I did a lot of that work before I was saved and came to the body of Christ. So um, I know what I'm talking about when I say that the influences are out there. I've been in music videos where, where uh, clothing designers will stand in line with all kind of clothes for you to wear so they, could, so they can influence these young people out there. Um, this is real. This is a situation that we can no longer ignore. Uh, we can't just stand by and do our own thing as gospel rap artists anymore. We have to get out. We have to start speaking against these things. 
that are out there in this world that are harming our children and our families and our communities. Because if we don't, then it will continue to knock at our door until it breaks it down and then it's going to be overbearing and too hard for us to deal with. So we, have, we must continue to fight the way we're supposed to fight. Keep on our full armor as the Bible tells us and also pick up the sword of the spirit and knock down the enemy where he lives. I pray that you guys will accept this message and pass it on and take it as your own so we can make a difference in our lives. God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you later.